Said understands your vehicle so well. Even the sound of the engine communicates to him. Oh yeah, esa no si, ere si, e yo se fu, eh eh, e te clas yo male. Ah, e pa na, e pa na, moti moti in sokoy. Said immediately swung into action. He fixed the car and restored it back to a good condition. Yet you called him illiterate. Behold that clothing material you gave to Yasilifa. She cut it into pieces. She sewed it together as a tailor. Now you have a beautiful designed outfit. Yet you call that tailor an illiterate. My grandfather was a bricklayer. I was told he built 30% of the houses in our town, including story buildings. And these buildings are still standing to date. Did I just hear you say my grandfather is an illiterate? I believe we've heard about Allah Joshomolu, who collected thrift contribution from many people for years, and he disbursed all this money without mistake. This is a man you called an illiterate. You see, I can go on and on to prove to you that the so-called illiterate are the ones who are solving problems in our society. To me, I think they are the real educated ones. Because in my own opinion, I see education as the process we pass through in order to be equipped with a certain knowledge and information which would enable us to find solution to a particular problem. But it's a pity my people woven education around good English. In fact, if you want to convince some people that you are brilliant, just speak flawless English. The simple reason why you look down on those people I mentioned earlier is because they can't speak English and they don't have a university certificate. In those days, I could remember many of our sisters and brothers that dropped out of school due to financial constraints or some personal reasons. Once they engage in skills acquisition, relatives and other members of the society would begin to look down on them as someone who wouldn't amount to anything in life. Ah, omo ya beji ma ti re kose. Nja ye omo yi o ti abaje bai. If you are part of the people that raises this way, I think you need a brain surgery to realize that functional education is the main workforce that drives a society. Stop looking down on those people solving your problems and as well rendering essential services. You are the really literate here because despite all your university's degrees, you remain functionless. I celebrate everyone out there that keep exhibiting their knowledge and skills. Tailor, carpenter, weather, bricklayer, mechanics, plumbers, painters, drivers, food vendors, traders, and every other artisan. You are indeed a force to be reckoned with. Believe me, without you, there is no society. Olodu Mari shall reward your good work and make you stand tall above those mocking you. Ereo.